how much is Stephanie? It is really gross outside. Winter in Shanghai is not pleasant at all, folks. And so I felt the need to wear a really loud, obnoxious shirt because um, I need a pick-me-up. Um, which is kind of the theme of this update video too because I suck. Let's take a look. So again, I'm now tracking my HSK vocabulary on this monthly sheet, which is really helpful. Um, and let's see, today is the 24th of January and I, I don't suck as much as I think and that's why this is good. I have added, uh, my goal is 25 new note uh, flashcards a week. Now, that's getting them in paper form, not necessarily getting them in here. That's harder to track, although I'm trying. So I already have 10 of them down, so if I do five today, okay, okay, that's doable. Now I feel like since I'm hitting, I'm working on HSK2 now, um, as far as putting them on the flashcards and trying to learn them, um, the vast majority, I think I only know about three or four of the 150 extra ones in HSK2, so I feel like five or 25 a week might be too much for HSK2. So I'm gonna do it the first week, this is the first week, and if it's too much, maybe I'll go down to, instead of doing five a day for five days, I'll do three a day for five days. And so that's what, 15. So maybe I'll do that. Cause I mean, the point is right now, I have a huge deck. This is just the I don't know deck. Um, <clears throat> and it is 75 words. Which is a lot, um, I, but I don't want to do, <coughs> excuse me, I don't want to do, I don't want to stop and just do these cards. I want to keep adding new now, but I'm, I'm comfortable again after this week adding less new in order to catch up percentage wise. And let me explain again what the percentage is. So what I'm doing now, because I have so many cards, I have 150 of HSK1 and now I have 10 of HSK2. So I've got 160 because I can do math. Huh? Um, <laughs> so I, I now, um, I changed the tracking sheet a little bit. I was going to track the amount of time spent studying way too hard. And so now I'm just checking with the, the I'm calling short stack and full stack. No computer um, programming uh, intention, no, uh, phrasing. Ah, I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, um, I don't mean that to be a programming joke. Um, so the short stack is the stuff I don't know, hopefully, and then the full stack is everything together. <clears throat> well, the short stack has to be that, because I do remember a lot of them. So with the short stack now, I have 75 out of the 160 total, and that's high. I, I feel like there should be, it should be lower, it should be lower. And there's stuff that I've been doing for a few weeks that I'm still not, um, not remembering anything. Like I'll just look at the card and go, yes, I've seen that before, but the pinion doesn't come to me, the Hansa doesn't come to me, or the meaning doesn't come to me. And usually if none of the three come to me, I need to go back in the processing list and, and sit with that word and really relearn it basically. And I feel like there's far too many of them that I have to relearn right now. So I have to reassess how many new ones I'm doing per day. And I have to spend more time I have to spend more time um, learning them. Like I was doing a lot of the cards away from my phone because I was in a situation where I couldn't use my phone. And <clears throat> that is not as effective, I've learned. The ones where I do have my phone near me and I'm able to use Pleco and I'm able to spend like those five or seven minutes or whatever looking at, um, <clears throat> looking at the tracing before writing it, looking at the, the different components in it and writing those down writing down the tones, which isn't as important, but it still gives me more time with the word. And then I can press the sound button and hear it in Pleco, and that helps me retain it. And then spending time just staring at it and doing the animation thing that I do with it. When I spend that the first time I make the card, it really, really helps me remember at least one of those three things. Um, so, and I haven't been doing that as much, which is why the unknown deck is so large. So I need to go back to doing that. I don't think I'll pull the cards out and start over with these because that feels counterproductive as well. Although I may have to, I don't know. We'll see, we'll, we will see. But, um, but definitely the vocabulary in HSK2 is, is harder, duh. And it's, um, wow, I don't think I've said duh since I was like 10 years old. <laughs>
Ay, ay, ay. The things that come out of me when I language learn, I feel like I seriously regress. All right, um, <clears throat> right, so yeah, there's that. So I feel like I need to go slower when I, when I first make the cards, not just get the five cards done per day. And I need to review more. Now that the review deck, even just the unknown review deck, is, um, is smaller than the entire deck, it's still so big that I find myself some days, like I've got a lot of blanks last Saturday and, and today's Wednesday and Monday this week. I just didn't touch the deck at all because looking at it, even though it's at the top of my purse, because I intentionally keep it close by so I can just grab it and start reviewing, I get overwhelmed by how big it is. So I think I really, really do, actually, let me do this right now. I'm going to put in my new planner. I have to look up how to make that Likert box. Likert box, the one where you 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 pace out what you're learning. And I think part of the appeal of that, from what I understand, is that what you're learning is smaller per day and so you do more because it's approachable. Right now this does not feel approachable. This feels like at least an hour to two hours of my time and a lot of days I don't have that. And I did notice when I would force myself to look at it, even just on the metro for like two or three stops, I did learn stuff. So I can learn in small chunks. I'm just not entirely sure how to do that with these yet. And yet making these and the different parts of how I've personalized and like made questions on these works really, really well. And I don't know how to do that with the digital flashcards yet. Or in a way that I can do anywhere, anytime. That's the thing with Anki, and I think that's why Gabe Weiner is making his um, <clears throat> his app for Fluent Forever. Plug. Um, <laughs> and I'll put in the show notes below, I'll put um, his uh, Kickstarter stuff, because they're, they're, it sounds like he's, he's doing some really, really good stuff with that. And it looks like one of the things he's doing is making it easier to make the cards. Because with Anki right now, let's face it, it's a fantastic resource, and it's completely free. Um, but you really do have to make the cards on your computer and then you can use them anywhere. But a lot of times I'm studying away from my computer and I want to just make a note of something or make a question about something or remind myself it's not this word, it's this word, but it looks like that word and I can't make those notes on Anki from my phone. I have to go make a note somewhere and then put it on my computer. And so it's a longer process. So I think that's a good thing that Gabe Weiner is going to fix. He's going to fix it for us. Until then, I'm doing this. For a variety of reasons, not just for that reason. Again, there's a lot of times during the day at work when I have downtime, but I'm not able to use my phone. So that's a huge reason why I'm doing this. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so it's going well. I'm not doing as much studying as I would like because of the intimidation aspect, so I have to look into that box and, and spacing out the cards so it's not so overwhelming. But I am adding the right amount. Uh, I'm reaching my goal as far as adding new cards, I am studying. I'm trying to get in touch with folks to schedule my HSK test. Um, my company has offered to uh, to sponsor us, so if I don't have to pay for it, that's cool. So I'm trying to go that route, uh, which means I'll probably take the HSK 1 test, even though I thought I would skip it, because HSK 2 is proving a little too hard and I don't want to rush it. So I'll probably, I'm probably moving my time frame out. Uh, ultimately, the year plan is to get through HSK 1, 2, and 3. So if I, I 